Hello there everyone and welcome to episode 5 of us playing TNO, the last of Europe, really as you know, the east is red, as you know by now, but The road away in 1953, Chengdu It should be said that during her three years in Sichuan, Yang and Kai was often tormented by two thoughts, sometimes three Two years ago to Ji Kang, to buy Tibetan medicine when she inquired about a sister related to news, the same age girl doll in 1949 And followed a ragged old Hmong through the shine to continue north then with the old Hmong contact with the Tibetan medicinal use of very obscure and very difficult to understand the official language of Western Sichuan to Yang Ying Kai, even with the explanation of the girl doll and the old Hmong to go to a small town called Gelmu in Qinghai. Gelmu is a small city in Qinghai. Yang Ying Kai doubted doubly, doubly difficult is that the journey from Zhikang straight on to the Gelmu is exceptionally dangerous, which is a, uh, and with having any sort of carelessness will be killed. However, I hear for that Golden Mood is also the jurisdiction of the National Defense Front. Then perhaps you can go first north to Xi'an. Settle down and then go to Golden Mood to find Ying Yingji. The regret of failing to fight against the Japanese is the regret of Ying Ying Kai, buried in her heart for many years. The good news is from the road from Chengdu to Xi'an, it's not as difficult to travel. The villages and towns along the way are not difficult, and there are many villages and towns along the way, which is much easier than from Panzihua to Chengdu. But the children were also sorts of concern. Perhaps because she was old and alone with no heirs, Ying Ying Kai was also very devoted to caring for the children in the orphanage, and now she was known as Ying's mother, with the children even taking it upon themselves to go to the outskirts of the city and gather wildflowers to weave a crown of flowers for her. Just the biggest thing the children could do for her. The oldest of these children is only 15 years old, although under Ying Ying Kai's careful care, the older children have been able to earn their own living, but in late spring, Ying Ying Kai woke up from another sleepless night. She knew she had to make a choice, affection, ideals, responsibility. It's all my precious. Against, and then, workshop. Wu Zhengguang stared at the glass bottles in front of him, motionless like a statue, only glancing at the newly hung clock on the gray wall with the afterglow. The hands in the white light clearly informed him that there were still ten minutes to go. He was still staring at the steady stream of empty bottles sliding across the assembly line. He just fled from the white zone to Hanzong. Just as the new factory opened in Hanzong, with the intention of trying it out, he walked into the new recruitment office of Hanzong ad hoc. The cadre of the recruitment office was a conscientious person, seeing that he had fled to Hanzong and was thin. He was put into this workshop to watch the blown glass for impurities. This was really not a physical job, but there was no room for error. There's no room for error, but from morning to night, to have to keep an eye on and once the mistake of what did not see the batch of glass bottles will be destroyed. But Wu Zhengguang did not care compared to the old days in Yi, Yi Chang. No land, no food, and had to flee, all the way up and down to a full meal and a hungry meal, more than today's tomorrow's death. This place is too safe. Food and housing, the end of the month also pay, the factory also opened the workers' night school and will organize sports activities. He even learned how to, how to play basketball, but Wu Zhengguang never understood what he was looking at the blown glass bottles in the end. Bam, a sound. Wu Zeng Guang's mind back to the present. Old Wu, what to do after work? Work as Yao Zhu came over. How about a trip to the factory entrance to the state run store? I heard recently that finally entered into our factory. Soda. Soda really finally came here. Soda, what's soda? This workshop is not the production of glass bottles, is it not? Where did the water come from? And what is soda? How can there be gas in the water? It's not bubbles, and when it comes to bubbles, it's not tea froth. What is it with that? What? The stunned Zhu, uh, Wu Zeng Guang was pulled into the state store by Zhao Zhu, spent 50 cents to buy a bottle of Bang Fing soda until a sucky coolness threw the palm into his heart. Wu Zeng Guang finally came back to his senses. He stared at the glass bottle for a while, though understood that the workshop glass bottles originally used to fill a soda, but Wu Zeng Guang never understood the orange liquid in the bottle, and the word soda is the connection. Soda? Where's the gas? The froth on the surface of the water? It's not tea froth. The little zoo on uh, on the side seemed to see his dilemma. Unhurriedly pick up the open bottle cap, snort the bottle of liquid like boiling, began to gush up. Never drank it, nothing. I did not know this stuff at first. Expensive is expensive, but this stuff is really good to drink. Zhao Zhu raised the bottle and tilted his head, but also made a special toast action. Wu Zhang Guang followed the example, key opening the cap, clutching the glass bottle to the throated dunk. How cold. It's funny how it's not, it's not great English, but we understand it. You know, it's not perfect. That's, that's okay for now. Food supplies. Cool. Oh, God. I've got a couple comments to go through too. Economy's doing all right. We're trying to improve ourselves here as we're doing a cooperatives here. And opening rash advance. Some comrades in the party showed abnormal fanaticism and adventurism on the issues of agriculture. Although that the central uh, uh, committee's decision of state reform was not thrown enough, leaving uh, <clears throat> opportunities for capitalist restoration, which had uh, proved wrong by reality as early as a Great Leap Forward period, and the central committee decided to launch an anti adventurous campaign of the party during the 18th Congress. Uh, or 8th eight, Congress, focusing on combating the abnormal fanaticism and adventurism of these people. Happy January 1st, everybody. Someone says, take the most liberal path, please. Hey, we'll see. Let me get there. Look at this. Dialectical PowerPoint. See, at this point, huh? Oh, 
I want that growth though. Weekly stability would go up. Punish these guys? I don't really want to punish them though. 0 0.02. So, okay, so this was basically one of the comments. If you have time, you should redo the land census event because this person thinks I could have got much better buffs if you did it correctly. We need political power for that. Maybe the reason you're getting so little political power is that the special care and other political actions have a permanent buff or debuff? Um, it's, it's a national spear with the question marks. So, it's like over here, the art of policy. Actually, that's, that's actually kind of positive for us. We're actually... Are we actually... What? Uh, okay. Because at one point it was like negative 0.89. Obviously the legacy of the grip before was very bad. Stabbed in the back, which is not good. Um, Alright then. I couldn't tell you what's going on anymore. But we're going to roll with it. So we must have done the more economies one. Uh, we definitely need that political power. Like This is literally the only way we can get enough political power right now. Hey, that's not quite what we had, but hey, that's way better. That's not great, unfortunately, but hey, it helps the deficit out. It helps lower the debt a little bit more. 1.161 billion in debt and 3 billion in uh, GDP. Hey, China rising. And we're just destroying our political power now. My God. Oh, boy. So I do want to take full responsibility. City first is nice and all, but we're going to go rural equals to city. Our party is a worker-peasant worker alliance, and in economic construction, is the right to follow the general program of workers and peasants. Therefore, we should continue to adhere to the fair policy of convergence between urban and rural residents in the 8th Congress without specialization or differentiation. Yeah, pretty much. So it's 1965, and we're still technically supposed to be doing all this stuff down here, too. Um, are that consumer goods? That's looking good. Poverty's getting actually better. Academic base is rapidly rising. Hey, LBJ. All the way with LBJ. Everything, for the most part, is positive, including admin efficiency, finally. And this would be good. Halfway to getting better military professionalism as well. Take full responsibility, as the people's governments are the newly liberated areas. Or larger areas have only just been established. The party in the front do not yet have the capacity to establish complete and reliable economic organizations at the grassroots levels. So we have to ask people in the base areas to bear the profits and losses. Oh wow, that really helped out Liu, huh? Alright. 0.37, which is actually higher than it was earlier, so we're it's okay. Uh, make money first, admin efficiency. Accumulate first, admin efficiency. So right now, Lee's faction. Support the inner party rate of Lee's faction and Mao's faction. A Mao's faction and Dang's faction. Uh, there's this one. God dang it. Make money first. Accumulate first. Let's balance. I make money first. Hmm. I kind of want to do accumulate first, but we probably did this one last time, so we'll probably do make money first then. According to an old saying, the purpose of the CPC can be loosely described as hiding wealth with, with the people. Only when the people's lives are affluent can the party in the front work even better. Oh, look at that, nice. Healthcare. Hey, look at that. Almost 100% smiley. Make money first. National autonomy. Culture protection. National autonomy. Rebuild the Red Army. That sounds like the one we would take for Mao. We'll probably do this one. Break the blockade. Um. Deviate coping the strategy of the Ma John Rebellion. Ethnic autonomy would take practical action. Oh, well. Oh, maybe she won't do this one. Uh, maybe we won't do culture protection. Maybe we will do national autonomy, even though it makes more sense to break the blockade. Um, rebuild the Red Army. Well, culture protection sounds nice. We're going to go with national autonomy. Maybe in the past, the party's ethnic and religious policies have deviated, culminating in the tragedy of the Mao Yuan Rebellion. In the new era, we should adhere to the policy of ethnic autonomy, make take practical action, and exchange for recognition and respect of the minority masses. Oops, I forgot about this one. My bad. 
The Road Away, 1953, Chengdu. Two. You've decided you really want to go to Xi'an to find the other communists in a confessional. The old nun sat beside Yang Yingkai and inquired in an extremely gentle voice. Well, Yang Yingkai nodded her head. Ambitious, the old nun praised. Did you say anything on the doll's side? No, I did. always feel that it's not very responsible for them to go away like this. Yang Yingkai was a bit squirmy. After these words, the old nun actually giggled. From you two to these three gears, I counted out. Two, wor you worry too much. Too little for their own consideration. A lot of dolls told me said Yang mother was going to go to other places to see them pitifully to s see them pitiful to stay. Yang Yingkai let a bitter laugh. This is whisking me away. The old nun slowly turned her smile. See, I told you you have too many concerns. Don't believe me? Go to ask the dolls in class today. With a creak, the door to the confession was open, and the children who had been eavesdropping at the door for a long time came in and surrounded the two of them. With the leader of the group, the leader of the king, child king, even did not care about the sniveling and rushing up to embracing Yang Yingkai. You know, Yang mother's not not to take care of us, especially uh, the Yang's mother to go to other places to play, to fight Japan. He stopped out of his inner thoughts. We also can't let go of Yang mama, but... The old mom told us that Yang Mama fight Japan to drive away those dudes who killed her mom and dad. Yang Yang Kai patted his spine. Good boy, I can't let you go of you guys either. A teary eyed boy in his arm slowly raised his head. Mom, despite going to fight Japan, younger brothers and sisters and old mother I'll take care of. The words just fell, the children loudly echo. Looking at the children with tears in their eyes, Yang Yang Kai felt an inexplicable courage, which she had been lacking for the past three years. She drew a cross in front of her chest and then spoke solemnly. I know all of you are good children, I believe in you. I'll be back one day because this too is my family. We're constructing Southeast Downtown too. Not bad. Pretty high, honestly. It's not bad, though. Deficit? Eh. Take money first. Admin efficiencies? No, it's finally getting up there higher. Look at that. Yeah. Honestly, just in case we're going to two, two at a time, because now we've none. We're still walking together. I just want to absorb everybody here. Wow, we're actually making political power. Holy crap. So we've not looked at this page in a while. And we actually need to do this too, or one of these other ones. So if you're this highly developed, 3% uh, index, 93%, we're going to go here because the military needs to be more developed here too. So, what do we got here? Consumer goods. Actually, this changes stuff down here too, so. The bomb, it actually d d directly changes what we get here, so. Oh, I want to focus on trading as much as possible, though. Because I want that growth. There's not much we can really do about this screen here, but with this one, we have a little more sway because. For this one, I mean, you just change. It's the same thing for both. So, there's really not much you can really do. We need a political power, right? Happy April. As we rebuild the Red Army. Point three nine. look at that. Oh, the base in which we've liberated the areas is the PLA, which was also an essential organization for the party in the front to assist the people in the productive work. We must clarify the positioning of the PLA in the new era so we can better serve the people. Party leadership. Adhering to the leadership of the party is the essential principle for us to accomplish the excellent task of reunifying China and the magic weapon for a perpetual revolutionary vitality of our front. In this new period, it's all the more important to adhere to the leadership of the party on all shows and respond to our future internal, or internal and external affairs with strict organizational discipline and great malism. Point two three, huh? How we doing here? How we doing here? Oh, we can do all three. Okay, that's interesting. Break the blockade. The blockade by Japan and its bubbles once caused our front to fall into embarrassment and even on the verge of extinction. So we've not only survived, but our liberated areas have also expanded. If we can break the blockade of the co-prosperity sphere in the new period. We put have to put the critical task of breaking the blockade of the co-prosperity sphere on our schedule. Tea party, huh? Happy May, everybody. So, hold on. 0 0.41. 0 0.02 increase here. 
nothing changed. Oh, and that was 0.43. So doing these d literally helps us out with everything else. So I did this initially, so that maybe that's why we lost all that political power, because I kept doing special care for Dang, and lowering everyone else, but I did special care for them as well, so... Interesting, I'm not going to remember this the next time I play this campaign. But, that's interesting. That, like, every time you do this, it, it literally affects it just by a slight bit. Explain the Militia Division. Chairman Mao said to have found a great Militia Division is a slogan, not to get the divisions all up. The country magistrate as the division chief, and the secretary is a political commissar, what's the problem that they can deal with? An empty frame can't be taught, it's good to be able to take it out as a company when something really happens. The militias are very scattered, their activities are mainly at the grassroots level, and the squads, platoons, and companies, it is very difficult. They have division-based activities. The regular army can't move around in divisions in one piece either. You can't have so many divisions and regiments in normal times, and you don't need to have two or three thousand divisions in wartime. It's not possible to fight a war, it's not possible to raise them. The central task of militia work is to improve production, not to hinder production, to promote production, and to make it bigger but hinder production. Chairman Liu visited the factory and gave a speech. The Ministry of Mobilization wrote a document based on Chairman Liu's speech. The central committee's policy we must resolutely implement. Seriously implement, we can't use can't raise too many soldiers usually. The country's wealth is not used to be used to expand production, but also used to raise soldiers, which is not okay. Therefore, we, usually, we must have a limit to raise troops to a certain saturation point that can't be more. If there's more, that's not allowed. The army's out of production, so people can only feed a soldier. We are the people's war. The militia will work well. Although the number of soldiers raised in normal times, the war will have an endless number of soldiers. Chairman Liu said the factory to defend itself. Uh, Zhu Qiang Qian uh, spoke straight to Dry Mao. Finally, the logic and approach of the big militia division to rationalize. And draw there's the final goal, quality and quantity. The Road Away, 1955, Xi'an. Can we do another one here? After all, Yang and Kai arrived in the city of revolution, Xi'an. Unlike the post-war devastation in Chengdu after seven years of development here, it has transformed from the former dynasty's capital into a true fortress city. Every look there are strategic air raid shelters, anti-aircraft guns set up on factory roofs, temples turned into hospitals, soldiers patrolling the streets, everything matched Yang and Kai's expectations. Indeed, this was the anti-Japanese stronghold she had imagined, lost refuge for the conscientious and benevolent who still under the dream of a free China. And in the city, she saw many unfamiliar slogans, long live invincible Mao Zedong thought. Boost of morale, drive to be the best, and rapidly, efficiently, and frugally built socialism. At the time, Yang Yang Kai knew nothing about the Communist Party's doctrines and class theories. Sometimes she would stop and stare at the bald man depicted on the propaganda posters, so that's what Mao Zedong looked like. Sometimes she peered through the windows to see portraits of a bearded old man and a middle-aged bald foreigner. Were these Marx and Lenin, as mentioned during the Nationalist Revolution? She wandered aimlessly through the city, hoping to find a shop that was closing down and willing to transfer its lease. So she could set up her own small clinic, however. To her disappointment, Jian and the Communist Party was thriving too vigorously. Everyone seemed like a small parts in a massive machine with no to care or idle spots to be found. Although slightly disheartened by the sight, Yang and Kai soon lifted her spirits. She remembered her approach on Pan Zihua. It seemed that she would have to set up a stall on the busy market again, unlike six years ago after arriving in Jian, she wasn't lost. She had ambitious plans to save up money to open a small clinic, then work in a big hospital as a surgeon, then in the near future join the Communist Party and their renowned efforts in the anti Japanese war. The future looks bright. Well, we have the political power, we better use it. Treasure, please. What else? Uh, we have it here, we could use it, maybe. Uh, so, Ji Kong, South Ji Kong is pretty good. I want to keep working on this area, though. Balanced. So, we'll do one more time for South Ji Kong. And then we'll go to the other ones here, too. Happy June, everybody. Prospects. General Lin is not going to be going to going to today's meeting. He has a stomachache. Pushing away Zhu and Lai Secretary Xiao Zhao, uh, Yi Kun closed the door of the hotel room. Outside the door, the voice of Zhao informing the heads of the meeting could still came to her ears from time to time, thanks to the quiet house. Lin Biao didn't even bother to raise his eyelids. His arm on the armrest, his ar body spread out on the sofa, two legs crossed on front, uh, sitting pier, and then taking a blanket to the body, a, a cover like a mud doll. It was with Lin Biao's regular activity every day. The old day, to the old partner such, uh, set such a same of expression. Yi Kun really can't stand, she said as loudly as she could. I was dragged a long way from Jian to come here for a meeting, but you pretended to be sick and didn't go once. So I stay with you four or five days. I don't even understand what's in your mind. Huh? The kind of nagging Lin Biao heard too much in the past, he must be anxious. Now his mind was like water, pretending not to hear and squeak. What did you say? 
I said, you look for Jiang Qing to take the photo she has asked the secretary to send you. Yi Kun took out the briefcase, which contained a photo of Lin Biao carefully sitting in the anthology of Mao Zedong. Oh, tomorrow I'll be published in the newspaper. And one copy was sent to each person in the whole army. Um, hearing this, even Yu Kun was confused about whether her partner was motivated or not, so she dragged a chair and sat in front of Lin Biao, asking him tentatively, Are you going to the army meeting tomorrow? She was most afraid that Lin Biao would open his mouth and say no, and her heart was in her throat. Lin Biao slowly opened her eye, his eyes, looking at Yi Kun's face eager expectations, breathlessly said, To meet with a major military leadership cadres, but also Yi Kun instant relief, a long breath of relief, let's just say tomorrow we'll be attending the meeting tomorrow with an illness. New peak. The 8th Congress will soon come to an end, the front has ushered in a new round of socialist climax, and the recent period will take Marxist-Leninism, Marxism, Leninism, Maoism, uh, as a theoretic, uh, theoret theoretical core of the party and hold high the three flags that do not fall and the muster all energy produce more and more faster to reach socialism. Come on, stop doing all this crap to us. The Tea Party. A small room in the Xi'an Welcome Hotel is lit up with smoke, and Zhu Enlai, Bo Gu, Chen Yi, Li Guangquan, Jin Quan, and others sat in a circle. The war in Guangdong and the storm in the Pai Ping was passed not long ago, as comrades have seen. As we, if we go to the east, every step we take may cause Gao, Zongwu, Pseudo, Manchu Kuo, and even Japan's reaction, then the whole co prosperity sphere warring against each other. Our friends only just recovered strength, really, and is not capable of tearing the skin with them. Zhu Enlai took the lead in breaking the silence, so today at midnight, I was really worried, so I had to get to you guys in charge of diplomacy to simply have some tea and tea. Chen Yi smoked. In my opinion, it's better to rebuild the underground party in the White Zone. Bo Gu shook his head. No, the White Zone underground party was a big project that Comrade and Lai was in charge of. Um, oh, schnikes. Uh, for an ailing society? For almost 20 years, in order to prevent. Preserve Xi'an, the biggest project is broken. All of you leaders, how much time do we have? Zhu and Lai nodded. It's true that it's difficult for the White Zone underground party to regain its previous scale of activity, but it's a good idea. Chen Yi was silent for a long time, and suddenly an idea flashed to his mind. Don't we have a South China Bureau? Everyone glanced at each other, our thoughts instantly cleared a lot, and then it finally opened their minds to start planning down. There is still a way. We're all about that growth, man. And we'll, start, we'll keep one on the military stuff, and one on here, and one on here. Oh, I guess we have two in the industry, but whatever. Almost one political power day, that is amazing. More political power, admin efficiency, and we're going to be shaking hands. Healthcare is rapidly improving, which is great, too. And there they go. The thunderous applause and chants along the CPC echoed for a long time in the hall. The 8th National Congress of the CPC was successfully finished. Mao Zedong sat in front of the chairman's seat and watched the delegates reluctantly leave the venue with mixed feelings inside. Chairman Zhu and Lai had stood to his side. The meeting is finished, but Mao waved his hand. You go ahead and Lai will sit for a while. Soon after the hall finally became clear, a few people were still sorting out the documents. Mao Zedong let a long silence slowly stood up. Chairman Mao, Liu Xiaoqi's voice came from behind him. Mao Zedong turned back and saw Liu Xiaoqi with a smile, leaning forward slightly. The meeting is over. Why do you still have to stay here and wait for me? An old comrade, Mao Zedong laughed. I think we still have to unite to seek uh, unity. Liu Xiaoqi knew by heart and extended his right hand directly. Mao Zedong also reached out and clasped his hand. Old people, ambitious ideals. The 8th Congress has come to a close, and there have been some personal, personnel changes among the leaders of the Central Committee. Please inspect the National Diplomatic Panel and click on the current sub-ideology icon and view the current composition of the Nas Central Committee. Oh. Northwest National Defense Front is going to a new era. New focus and proposal will be unlocked. Please inspect the focus screen of the Central People's Government Affairs Committee. Ah, he's got older. Look at that. I hate it when you get older. Wow. Wow, it's Mao. Major issues. Breaking through the siege. Oh crap, what are we, oh my god. Hey, new focus tree though, I like it. Southwest deal. Oh crap, I don't remember what we did last time. Understanding new types of warfare. Anti-military revisionism. Envisionism. Recovery of equity. Industrial collectivization. Hey, get more growth. Uniform production standards. Token regulations. To the countryside. Decrease one level of hurt. Strike hard against crime. It's good. Factory community construction. Oh. Poverty still improve. Improve. Nice. Real commensurization. Cancel three for one. Less growth, less inflation. Prefer bigger communes. 
for cleanups. Ooh, that's not good for us. The four cleanups level three, four. Oh God. Well, I like all this. I like the growth, increase the liquid reserves. I'm not sure which way we went first. These are good, but it doesn't seem like it helped us out. I might go here first to get the only slight bit of growth, and then we can come over here. Recovery of equity. In 1955, the gradual public-private partnership transformation of private industry and commerce began in the base area, and we acquired the management rights of most of the enterprises. The capital source received year-end dividends, i.e. turnover for the shares of the compensation, due to the United Front policy during the economic difficulties. The central government did not terminate the contracts according to this 10-year agreement, and this overhead continues to this day. Now, there's no place for the new or old bourgeoisie in the general line of socialist construction. It is imperative to outlaw the private economy and lay the groundwork for the next step in the base. I literally cannot remember which one I chose. Professionalization of officers. Expand the troops. Armored. This seems like the round I would not choose. Because this one... Four firsts. I like this one. Great training. I might go with this one. As we enter the mid-60s, we had a clear vision of the future direction of the PLA after a comprehensive study of the current situation in Europe, South Africa, and other battlefields. The PLA must begin the process of professionalization and modernization as soon as possible and only modernize. Strong soldiers can help achieve our ambitious vision of restoring rivers and mountains. If this is wrong, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna make a save here real quick, because if I I wanna go back to my first campaign where I did this. Um and I want to do the, one, the route that I'm not taking yet, so... I'm assuming that's a route that I'm not taking. So we want to modernize. We want... what guy? Professional as a PLA. Liu Bocheng. Oh. Cheong Zhao, Instruction, Southwest Deal. Our PLA reform. Beware of purely military revisionists. But we're going to focus on here first. Industrial collectivization in the late 40s in response to the possible invasion by the Wang false regime and air raids. The central government decided to evacuate industries uh, from Xi'an, Xianyang, Baojin, Wainan, and since has experienced multiple turmoils, making it difficult for the central government to manage actual production in each area. Thanks to the end of the chaos, we can now have a clear picture of the geographical distribution of factories and handicraft workshops. We're ready to consolidate most industries together and concentrate our economic strength. It's going to hurt our growth by 0.8, but it helps us out with our deficit too. Which helps us with our political power too. So. Oh, well, whatever. My 0.46 is not good. But hey, the deficit is in the green. Inflation is really high now though. God, God. But this will help us increase our credit rating faster. So we get from poor to mediocre, to more debt ceiling, better interest rates, uh, less, more stability technically. So, the effect on growth, maybe less. That's what we're kind of looking forward to. And happy August 5th. Must be Muscovy and collapsing. Not bad still. For money. Hey, poverty will get, get into approval. We lose money, but we get poverty to get, get better. Oh, that's not bad. Clean up of the class ranks, lose 50 manpower. 150 manpower for 30 stability. Oh, what is this? Oh, why can't we do this one? Encourage capitals to go forward, go dividends? 
you lose growth and inflation, which is not good. We get liquid reserves and a good production unit. Another production unit. Not bad either. Four level cleanups. Oh, eliminate landlords, the rich, the counter revolutionaries, and bullies. You get more political power, which is nice, but you lose a lot of stuff. Good God. Well, we got some new things to choose here. 25 political power is not very good. 25 more political power is not bad. I'm going to go with this one because it helps poverty, and I want to lower poverty. I don't like being poor myself. There you go. Uh, what do we got here? So after this one, we get slightly more growth. Come on, Muscovine. Or whoever. Holy crap, is it laggy. To the countryside. Ah, uh, you know what, we'll do this next one. Just because it does decrease the level one level hurt for the Great Leap Forward. Even during the Great Leap Forward, scattered industries still absorb more laborers than planned, with more than 400,000 people employed in the state-run factories than Shangxi province alone. Many employees without labor assignments became idle. In contrast, there's more demand in the countryside than these people. Uh, should be called upon to build socialism in the country, to be re-educated by the poor peasants, and exercise themselves. They rode away in 1958, Xi'an, first prison. When the group arrived, they found the Bible spread out on the counter opposite the door. Silence is pointless. I think you better explain yourself, otherwise we have every reason to think this is your diehard confrontation with organizational scrutiny. If I knew that something was taken away, it was bound to be revealed, sooner or later anyway. If I secretly hid the Bible myself, it would, be, would not be a question of my personal style a style of life, but a question of cheating the organization and being disloyal to the party and the Chairman Mao. It's a little too late to show your loyalty now, Ying Ying Kai. I want to remind you that this is not a matter of style, but a matter of your position. Position problem? Why are you in possession of a primitive matter, representing bourgeois materialistic religion? Why don't you participate in communal life instead of hiding alone and saying your prayers? What have you done to is completely in opposition to the masses, and even more so to materialist Marxism, Marxism Leninism, and Mao Zedong thought? I didn't really think that much. You think you will believe you just like that? I'll remind you again that one or two of the Japanese agents who came from the fallen areas are all wearing the name of the religion. So you better be able to prove that you're not one of them. That way you'll still have a chance to come back to the embrace of the party and the masses. If you're really a shameless traitor, we won't show any mercy. I can swear to the Christian or chairman that there's no way in heck I'm a traitor to my country. Not before, not now, not in the future. Speaks quite nicely, all right. Take her back. Seems like you're still rightist. Hmm. Oh, look at that. We've even more down here. Oh. Nuclear program. I don't think we are capable of having a nuclear program at all in this type of China, but real commensurization. We recover this from the setback of the Great Leap Forward. It's undeniable that uh, implementing a full-scale people's commune under the historical conditions and economic base at the time brought some harmful full effects. Um, we recognize the mistakes, actively correct them in the cheap economic recovery. Now, it's time to rely on the people and mobilize the masses, focus on developing collectivization to meet the next socialist climax. Cancel three for one. For a big commune. A uh, found big community turned to commune must be closely integrated to the current production. Not only can it affect the current production, but also make the movement a considerable force to promote the production of a more significantly forward. The scale of the organization of the community, for the time being, generally speaking, a township community, about 2,000 households, is more appropriate in some places where the vast and sparse of populated countryside, where there can be less than 2,000 families and several communities in one township. Some areas, according to the natural terrain conditions and production or product development needs, can also be merged from several townships into a single township, a community of about 6,000 to 7,000 families. As for reaching 10,000 families or more than 20,000 families, do not go against it. We'll get there eventually, too, so. What is this? Uh, the just helps with industrial expertise monthly change, too. Wage system. Traditionally, farmers think that all the grain collected from the land should be belong to them. However, the collectivization of agriculture, the land is collectively owned, and labor is also collectively divided. So it's difficult for farmers to define which field is their own and which stone of grain is their own, as the motor labor motivation of each member was at stake. The common management needed to settle wages for labor, assess wage levels, and issue fixed salaries according to the classes in order to avoid the proliferation of the erroneous idea of absolute egalitarianism among common members. Council 3 for 1. Given the vast size of her based area and the existence of classes, various bourgeois, feudal, and decadent peasant ideologies are bound to emerge. The 3 for 1 and work alone are the most prominent symbols, as for now the fierce class struggle has penetrated the part to eliminate the a sense of corruption. Uh, holy and immediately abolished with 3 for 1 in production. But unfortunately, I have to end the episode quite quite a bit shorter than I normally do. Um, I'm out of time today. So if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. So we'll see what else we can do with good old Northwest National Defense Front, as we're actually doing at this point. We're on the up and up. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.